Okay, YouTube, new video for you. If you've watched any of my other ones, you know, and you're very familiar with the Retrofit mod, uh, if you may have been one of the people to message me and get a copy of the write-up, or you may just be somebody who's been sitting back watching and reading my comments when I say I got something new and better coming. So if you've seen the teaser, you already know where this is going somewhat. If you're seeing this for the first time, this is the wonderful new monitor retrofit. As you can see, it has a lot cleaner look than the other one that was in there. It actually is a larger screen area. It's got a better touch screen. It's just got a lot of better overall stuff about it and to it. So as you can see what's going on here, this is the actual Android mini PC that is running. Touch works just as it should, and everything runs nice and smooth. So everything is good, it's responsive, it works well. Can't complain a whole lot about it. So especially working something like this into a older car with a wonderful dash that you cannot change a whole lot on, it definitely helps. So also been able to work in the backup camera now fully, which is nice because my uh, method before for it didn't work too well. But as you can see, a nice clean, clear picture. And just as you'd expect, all the factory stuff comes up as well. So gives you kind of the best of every world, everything that you could want, all in one system that works smooth and for the most part, pretty flawlessly. For now, I am using a four button membrane button pad that handles my switching. The backup camera will get automated in due time. I just need to finish the rest of the wiring and the other such to make it all work as it's supposed to work. And I have one of those buttons tagged for resetting for the mini PC. Because, as I hate to say it, it's only about 80% reliable. So, and that's just because of a choice and what I've chosen. And I still do have some weird switching with some of the, the artifacts you see on the screen. But it's a small price to pay within getting something custom. Because anytime you do something custom, you're never going to have 100% perfect results. So, if you're wondering as far as the mini PC, uh, it's MK908. I'd recommend the 808B+. That's probably what I will be switching up to in the future. There's a lot more support, and it's a lot more reliable. So, but overall, uh, fairly happy with everything. If you've got any questions and you want to pull something like this off yourself, you know, feel free to leave a comment, ask questions. Uh, and I do have a write-up in the works. It will be together soon enough. So when you see a link appear in the comment section or in the details, uh, that'll be it. So all I will say is if you're going to plan on doing this, it's not the easiest. You do need to have a good uh, background understanding of the electronics and everything else. And it's not for the faint of heart, but if you want to do it, I commend you. Go for it. I know, I'll help you the best I can, but I'm not Mr. Free Tech Support either. So like, comment, enjoy the video, show it to your friends, and uh, thanks for watching.